Hi, today I'm going to talk about something I've been asked about a lot recently, and that's dermaplaning, otherwise known as face shaving, which is a huge skincare trend at the moment, particularly in America. Now, I have a facialist in in New York that I use. She's fantastic. She's called Yerga, and she does this treatment dermaplaning. So the first few times I went to her, she told me about it, and I was just too scared to try it because I was worried the hair was going to grow back thicker, um, because it's such a deep exfoliation, I was worried I was going to get acne, because I'm not good with things like microdermabrasion and things like that. So I kind of put it off and put it off. However, the last time I went to New York, she said, come on, try it, because 90% of her clients are having dermaplaning done now, and she said it's just most women in New York that have facials are really, really into it. The benefits being that it's very deep exfoliation, it gets rid of the sort of peach fuzz, so it's really popular with actresses and movie stars, because if you get rid of that kind of peachy fuzz that the light hairs on your face, then obviously your foundation goes on better and you don't get that kind of glow around your face when you're photographed with light behind you. So it's very, very popular with television and movie stars. So I this time I was brave because I'm really not good at trying new things. I'm always terrified I'm going to get acne. And I was also terrified I was going to end up with a big black hairy face with hairs coming out all over and um, I was very very scared of of black hair kind of coming out like a beard. So I had it done and um, it's done with a scalpel and for this reason you need a very sharp scalpel. You need to, if you're interested in having it done out of curiosity or whatever, you need to find someone that is expert at it. And because Jörg has been doing it for 11 years, I felt very safe and I've had facials with her before. So it takes about half an hour, maybe even longer. I was half asleep. I was quite jet lagged when I had it done. And it is literally like what men have done when they go for that um, barber type shave, you know, with the hot towels and, and the, the blade. And it's done in very small sections. So she kind of went all over each area of my skin, took good good half an hour, I'd say, if not longer, to go over my entire face. The whole time I was finding it very stressful because it felt so counterintuitive. Um, that's the only reason. It didn't hurt. It wasn't painful. It was just psychologically. And I'd done my research and I'd, I'd read that the hair doesn't grow back thicker and she assured me of that, but I still felt a little bit worried. Anyway, at the end of the treatment, I have to say my skin looked incredible. Um, so clean, um, the exfoliation was obviously quite deep, it takes off all the top layers of your skin, but I, it wasn't sore. The thing that I was terrified about was having an acne break out the next day. So I woke up the next morning and I literally ran out of my bed to the wind, to the mirror to look kind of if I had any spots coming up or any bumps or lumps and I didn't have anything at all and for me that is incredible because I'm very my skin's very acnogenic and very prone to acne. So, um, I mean, it's grown back now. It hasn't, the hairs are, are no different. I mean, they've grown back the same as they did before, blonde um, here, it's a couple of dark ones here that I remove, but nothing has changed in, in that respect. And would I have it done again? I would actually. I don't feel like I want to have it done regularly. I don't mind having this peach fuzz. I'm not being photographed like a movie star. But the exfoliation and the way my skin looked for about three weeks after I had it done was, people were saying to me, your skin looks incredible. And I'd say, oh, really, I've had my face shaved, <laughs> which in the UK is not popular at all and people don't understand. But um, it did look, I, I did have lots and lots of comments about it. And I thought I'd ask for different opinions because it is something which is such a, people have such a reaction to hearing about it and it's something that if you if you believe the rumors that people like Marilyn Monroe and um, Liz Taylor used to practice so it has been around for a long time um, but it's something that evokes such a, a feeling of repulsion I guess because they most people hear the word scalpel and face shaving for women um, but I mean I'm I've now tried it and I can say for me it was fantastic and if I go back to New York in the next couple of months, I think I would have it done again, actually. So I've got a few opinions because I didn't want to give you just my opinion. I've got a couple of cons. So I spoke to um, Dr. Gary Goldfaden, who's a dermatologist and a member of the American Academy of Dermatology. 
and he wasn't into it. He just said there's many more effective ways to exfoliate the skin or to remove surface hair and he wouldn't offer it at his practice. Marco Lenz, who's a plastic surgeon and a reconstructive surgeon here in um, London, he doesn't recommend it either because he said it can cause uh, post-inflammatory pigmentation. This was something that Jurga warned me about actually and she said make sure that you wear your SPF every day in the weeks after you've had it done, which I do anyway, so I wasn't worried about that and it certainly didn't, I didn't get any more pigmentation than I would normally, so I just make sure you use your SPF. And he also said that it can cause breakouts in women with acne prone skin. That would have put me off, but I've had it done now and I didn't get any breakouts. However, you can't have it done if you have active acne. So if you've already got, for, for obvious reasons, if you've already got spots with heads on, then they will be, you'll be cutting your skin. So if you have active breakouts, you can't have it done. A um, couple of the more pro opinions. One was Kate Somerville, who is um, a very famous facialist and esthetician in LA and has a great product range. And she said that She's been doing it since her mid-twenties. She really believes in it. She had it done because she couldn't have facial hair removal with wax because she's got eczema and that she finds it can work. It's just the best form of uh, exfoliation if you want to get a deep level of exfoliation and that she finds her makeup goes on smoother and with her clients and that all of the treatments and the products used in the facial uh, on the day of the dermaplaning and after penetrate much better it's gentle, it's safe, it's painless, and that um, lots of the clients are nervous about it initially, like I was, growing back thicker. But the, that this is a myth because it's really about the hormones. And if you naturally have peach fuzz here and you're just shaving on the surface, you're not actually changing the, the follicle because it's, it's just on the surface. So the follicle will remain the same and the hair will grow back the same. The only difference is when it does grow back, I, when it was first growing back, I could feel it a tiny bit more. I don't know if I was being hypersensitive though, because I was worried. But because it's blunt at the edge, I could feel it. But now that it's grown back, it really doesn't feel any different to how it did before. Um, Dr. Colbert, who is a dermatologist and a, a plastic surgeon in, in LA again, he just said, you know, it's a fancy word for shaving. It, men perform this every day and they look often look younger than women for longer because they have this deep level of exfoliation, particularly if they're using a blade, and that it's safe all year round, even in pregnancy, it stimulates cell regeneration. He said, um, you know, it is similar to a classic barber shave, and he said this is, you know, dermaplaning, when it's done well, is, is fantastic. Hair doesn't grow back thicker, this is a myth. Um, he says... Lots of women have started to do it at home. You can either buy these blades on Amazon or shavers, but he doesn't think it's a great idea necessarily. Um, it, it is because it, you can cut yourself, you know, it's a blade. So you have to be very, very careful. But that was definitely more of a, he was definitely into it. He offers it in his um, salon. He thinks it's better than glycolic acid. He uses it in combination with LED lights and masks and to further brighten the skin and um, he said you know just to take care and, and do it if you're going to do it at home you know be careful because if you cut yourself obviously you can get infection so I wouldn't recommend it. Sarah Chapman who's a facialist here in the UK and again she get you know she has lots of high profile clients she said she's just not being asked for it in the UK at the moment but she has had it done 20 years ago a French doctor introduced her to it and uh, did it on her and she felt that it was fine but she didn't particularly want to have it done again and she's keeping an eye out because if it becomes more popular in the UK she would recommend it again. She doesn't think it's a problem as long as it is practiced with somebody who's very experienced, somebody who's done a lot of research and it's done in a sterile environment to avoid any infection but it does give the skin a much brighter, smoother appearance and it can help to um, with any products that you use afterwards so pros and cons pros and cons everyone's got a different opinion I'd love to hear from you if you've had it done like me and whether you want to have it done again whether it's something that just terrifies you like it kind of terrified me um, and it's just kind of nice to keep an eye on these trends I think it has been around for a long time 
But um, it seems to be coming very much to the forefront, particularly in America, and um, love to hear your opinion.